Good morning, everyone. It's Joni. How are you? Um, happy Monday. <laughs> My desk seems to be a bit of a mess, but I've left everything here for now so you can see what we're doing. Um, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, I had shown you that I was making some ID cards which were inspired by Crafty by Tony. And I thought we would make one today together, but I did want to mention something else. Um, I was watching Dash of Dave the other day. I'll link his channel and her channel below um, when I'm done with the video. And what Dave had done was he had taken one of the ID cards and he created one. And what he did was, for that same person, he made a um, photo album. He made a, an HR file. So what I was thinking I might do, and I'll try it out first beforehand, is maybe make one of those with you. So what I did today was I went through my Tim Holtz um, photo booth, and I looked for matches for people that I had already made ID cards. So I had one for Elmer and I had one for Helen and I had two for Lucy. <laughs> and the reason that I left both out was that I thought that it was pretty interesting that Lucy is on file strips with two sets of different people. So I just thought that was pretty funny. So if you're, if you want to do this, look through your file, your photo booth. Um, I have a couple of sets, as you can tell. And uh, yeah, Lucy's on with other people. <laughs> so what I do with these is I create um, the ID card and then I give them a lanyard. And I've made a couple of lanyards. I was gonna do that on camera, but it's kind of time consuming to do this. And I take my Tim Holtz field note stamps. I'm trying not to glare, because I had enough lighting. Let's push that back a little. My field note stamps and I ink dye these so that they look vintage. I'm not particularly fond of this, the way this one came out. I used my uh, Distress Sprays and it came out very dark. This one came out a little nicer. This one is specifically for Lucy. You can see I have bugs on here. Um, Lucy's ID card, if I can find it right now. I made a little bit differently than the other ones. First of all, it's um, horizontal. No, what do I want? Landscape and not horizontal like the rest of them. And I've added a butterfly. Well, actually a moth. I stamped a moth and colored it with my uh, Tombow pens on hers and I gave her a little bug here. I don't know if you can actually make it out with the um, ephemera from the field notes. And so what I did was I created a lanyard for Lucy and I stamped some bugs. You can see, even though I use the archival ink, it kind of smears, but I put bugs on hers. So yeah, I've made them two different ways. This one, I inked only the edges of the strapping. This one, I sprayed it. So I have a whole bunch here that I made. I made enough for all of the ID cards that I made. You can see this is one that was inked only on the edges and it's distressed, but not too messy. And this one I sprayed with the, dist the distress spray. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I'll use them, I'm not gonna waste it. And what I used for that, I had briefly shown the, the other day that I had purchased some of this, um, oh Lord, I can't remember what it's called, Grow Green Ribbon. And I had only shown you this side. And <laughs> when 
I finished the uh, video, I looked and I said, oh, what a numb nuts. This is the back of, well, actually, this is the front of the ribbon packaging. And uh, yeah, this is, I bought this on Amazon. It's Leo Festival Wedding Decos and Gift Flowers. But yeah, that's the name. If I can figure out how to link that, I'll link that as well. But that's what I use for the strapping. So what I thought we might do today, oh, and this, I don't have a laminating machine, so I bought laminating pouches. I'm gonna see if maybe I can do that on camera with you as well. But that's what I use for um, sealing these in plastic. And they're pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna do one with you on camera today. And then I put aside some spare file folder scraps from my steampunk journal that I'm working on for uh, Tracy Fox Creative. And I'm gonna see what I can do as far as, I might make a passport uh, folder. I have to see what stamps I have and see if I can possibly do that. But yeah, the HR folder was pretty cool. That Dash of Dave is doing, or did rather. This is the uh, punch that I use to get this hole here. I don't know if you can really see. It's sort of a slot and not a round hole, but this is what I use. And this is a badge punch. I also got this on Amazon. If I can search it up, I'll try and link that too, now that I know how to do that. But. The card that I used was heavyweight card, and um, I stamped it, I inked it, and then I put it inside of here, and I cut it at, I thought I had to cut it a little bit smaller, because this says two and a half by three and a half wallet size photos, so for some reason I thought that the pouch was only, was I thought that the pouch was that size, and was only capable of holding something a little bit smaller. And when I did that, it was the wrong size. So what I did was I took an eight and a half by 11 sheet of heavyweight cardstock and I've cut some extra. This is all the scrap <laughs> that's left over from cutting all of these cards out of the eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I got, oh gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, this one's a little bent, but it'll work, seven, eight, nine cards out of one sheet of paper. What I did was I took it and I put it in my cutting, uh, what's it called, my trimmer, long ways, and I cut, I believe I got three two and a half inch strips, and then I had some, no, I might have gotten only two, two, <laughs> two two and a half inch strips and I was left with a piece um that I then cut into three and a half inches and this was what I had left over just this little strip and I took the two and a half inch strips and I cut them this way into three and a half inches and I took the three and a half inch one and I cut that one into two and a half inches. So I got all of these cards out of it with not too much scrap left over. Really, that's not too bad. And you can use this. Um, I wrote a note on the back of mine because I ordered from Stampers Anonymous and I put the wrong address because we've moved so much in the past two years. But this is, you can use these. I mean, you can probably even back a photo. So once I started going through, oops, sorry, I moved you. Once I started going through the photos, um, I found a bunch of photos that I had duplicates of. I'm trying to get a hold of them right now. Oh, they're over here on my desk. I went through and I found a bunch of duplicates. And what we may do is we may use one of these. And Roger's trying to get in. Come on, Bubba. Come on. There you go, buddy. Come on. Um, what I may do is use 
a set of these rather than using one of the ones that I have because I want to be able to make the, uh, yeah, passport. So I have these, I have these two ladies and I have, oh, these are the rest of Lucy. We're going to put those aside. And I have one of Helen, an extra of Elmer. And I found this gentleman who reminded me of Elmer, but I couldn't find a double. I found some color ones and I like her. So I think we might use her for our card. Um, yeah, I liked her. I really like her, but I don't have a double. And I have this gentleman too. And I'm probably gonna use him here. See, he's another case of same man, but he's surrounded by different people. Okay, yeah, I think we'll use this pretty lady in the red and green. She, or is it brown? Well, she's got pretty red lipstick. I think we might use her and make her the subject of our card. So what I've done, let's get that out of the way. Let's pick a card. All right. This is really heavy weight. I don't know if you can see how thick it really is. Eh, probably not, but it, it's uh, very heavy weight. I can't put it through my printer. So it's become my extra. Uh, if I make something and I put it on paper or if I find something on paper, I will back it with this card because it uh, it's pretty substantial. All right, let's start making our card. I've taken out my stamp box. I've got some inks, my archival minis. I have my field notes and I have, whoops, my condemned fell off my field notes. I learned a trick that if you keep your, oh, <laughs> look who I found. I found Bugsy and Pauline. They have doubles too. Okay, enough of that. This is a Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection, and I don't know when it's from, but it's called School Desk. I don't know if it's still available, but yeah, if you, if you notice, the packaging is different. So this is pretty cool. I've been using this particular stamp to make the lines I don't know if you can see them. There's lines back here so that I have a place to stamp people's names. So we're gonna definitely use that one. Oh, I started to say, if you find that your stamps are falling off your plastic, um, clean them up with a baby wipe. Or if you don't like baby wipes, try using maybe a little uh, Windex on a paper towel and it makes them sticky again. The reason they don't stick is because they're dirty. Well, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to put some stripes on the back of this one. We'll ink around the edges later. And so I'm gonna do is, this really doesn't fit securely on my stamp block, but it's close enough that I can at least know that I'm being secure. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna stamp on the stripes. I should get some dirty cardstock for underneath. Oh. Okay. And I'm going to put my stripes on the edge. Let's see. So this way we have it looking official. And that's okay that we missed down here because what I'll do is I will cover that. If you've noticed, I used the Field Notes minis so I can cover that space up. Let's put this aside for now. Put that back on there. And then I choose some stamps. Um, let's, what should we name our lady while we're thinking about it? How about, we can't do Lucy. I was thinking red <laughs> for Lucille Ball. Let's put this here. Okay. 
Look at that. And then what we'll do is, in the end, we'll put Boost up. Well, she doesn't have a name yet. How about... Hmm. I don't really know about a good name for her. Uh, I have my Name of Remitter stamp, which I think we'll do in... Hmm. How about Blue? Name of Remitter. I always put that at the top, like here on Bugsy, so that I can put their name on it. Let's see if we can get that straight. Our lines are a little crooked, but that's okay. As I always say, these are handmade. They don't have to be perfect. And let's use our filed stamp. I think we'll do filed in the same color as name of remitter. No, you know what? Maybe we'll do filed in red. I like the way it looks on Bugsy's card. And we'll stamp like that. And I don't worry about, should we do that there? I don't really worry about using the collage medium on these pictures because they're going behind the plastic. So they're still gonna look shiny, no matter what you do. And where's my identification? Here. What I've been doing with this one is I've been putting the whole stamp on the block. I'm gonna do it this way. No, let's do it this way. And I've only been inking the part that says identification. Let's do that part in brown, like we did on Bugsy. And then just getting the part that says identification inked so that we can put on it that this is someone's identification card. I'll try to get that down there. I think it's crooked. Nope, came out perfect. See? Identification. So we'd have the name of remitter. I didn't pull down my name stamp. Uh, I'm going to see if maybe I can step around the camera when we're ready. And what else can we put on here? We have a large stamp there. Let's see. We'll do book 710. How about that? What color should we use for that one? Let's try a little green. I think the green will be pretty. It's actually, it's peeled paint. Whoop, can you see it? There you go. Peeled paint. So we'll use that one. Okay. And we'll stamp... Book 710, next to filed. How about that? Okay. Now, let's see. Do we have anything else we want to use? I could use my splat stamps, but I don't know where I put them. I wanted to keep them always at hand, but I think I was trying to be too neat and move them. Nope. Found them. Okay. Let's do a couple of coffee splats on here. We'll use these. I've shown you these before. Um, I got them on Amazon. And I've since gotten rid of the packaging. Let's take this little one here. And maybe we'll do a splat of coffee. So let's use the vintage photo. I think that looks a little bit like coffee. There we go. And we'll give them give her a splat of coffee right here like that whoops okay well she got an extra splat of coffee now while we're at it let's take another on the other side and we'll do a splat of coffee on the back do one there I think a little more 
and maybe we'll do one and we'll only do parcel on here there we go oops trying to keep you in the middle all righty where did i just put that oh there they are and we'll put that away so now i think the front of hers is good because we're going to add some ephemera what should we put on the back how about we take this one this big old bugger right here and we'll stamp on the back and let's see what do we have on bugsy do we have that no all right well our lady who still is nameless because nothing is coming to me how about maria Maria's a nice name. We could do Maria. There we go. And we'll put that right there. There we go. I never used to use a stamping block. I was always so hesitant that I wasn't going to get a good stamp. How about shipment collect? But... As time has gone along, I've become better at it. So I'm not too afraid to use the, there we go. Do shipment collect in a barn door. That sounds good. I've become less afraid of using the stamping block. I guess it's the quality of the stamps, too. That's pretty awesome. Um, when you use a good stamp, you really don't have too much trouble. And I find that these are springy enough with the little sponge in them. Did we use the peeled paint? Oh, yeah, we did. All right, let's use the peeled paint back here. And <clears throat> we'll give her a number. Okay, like that. How about we'll give her a number in the corner up there. I don't want to get too close to the top because I do have to put the hole in it. But I love this received stamp. It always just seems to add a little bit of an extra touch. And I think for this one, you can tell these get very colorful and there's really no rules um to how you do them they're yours so you can do them however you want and we'll put that one right there let me see if i can bring you in a little closer let's see if this will oh there you go okay maybe it's better you can see better now how's that Oh, good. And you're not too close that you're feeling like I'm up your nose. So there we go. That's the back. And that's the front. I feel like we could add one more stamp. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to clean the backs of these. They're not sticking. How about this one? This one says, oh, Lordy, uh, form LLA34. That one will be good. Okay. What color should we use? Let's use the blue. We haven't used blue on the back. Okay. There we go. Let's just... And we'll put that next to received. So it looks really important. There we go. I think that's pretty cool. I think maybe that's enough. Let's take a look at some of the backs. Yeah, some of them are a little too busy. I think I like that that way. Okay, so let's call that done. And we'll just put our stamps over here. And get them out of the way. And we'll ink our edges. with our 
vintage photo. Okay. A long time ago, I set up the backs of all of my inks with Velcro. Um, just the hard side. And because you'll find that your ink daubers will just attach. These get a little squishy, but at least I know I have one for every color. So yeah, so that's an idea. They don't stack anymore, um, just so you're aware. They will not stack any longer. They kind of just lay there. But I have all of my inks in one of the tins, the Distress tins. Or I don't know if they're called the Distress tins, but um, you can get those in Hobby Lobby. You can also order them online. Oh, speaking about ordering online. Dang, that Tim Holtz. I watched his uh, video Saturday. I didn't watch it live. I had to watch the replay because I was busy. Um, and... I had to go on that Stampers Anonymous website and order some of those etc. tags. Well, not even so much the tags, but the etc. pieces, the large squares and stuff. <clears throat> and some of the cathedral windows, which I don't think were part of the new release. Uh, because they are kind of an old item. Let's get our, whoops, let's get our scissors. <clears throat> So yeah, guilty, guilty as charged. I like to cut these as close to the edge of the photo as possible because I find that it just leaves a little bit more room, which is what we need working in such a small spot. So I cut all the white off the edges and I'm not perfect. I follow uh, the lines that are there and we'll ink her around the edges a little just to get rid of the white. Oh, maybe we should use the black because there's black on there. We'll use the black soot. I have such an itchy nose all of a sudden I don't know why. I think it's because my husband was out doing the edging. Um, we're in Florida, as you probably know, and it's been so hot here. He mowed the lawn early Saturday morning and it was still unbearable. Um, so he left the edging until today. And it's still kind of cool out because the sun's not really out. Okay, there we go. We have Maria's picture all cut out. And see if Maria can fit right there. Unfortunately, excuse the noise and give me two seconds. I have to get my stamp. I bought this stamp, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, the noise might care. I have an old wooden chair with cushions on it. It belonged to my father-in-law's father. So it's gotta be a hundred years old. Well, probably not more, probably like 60. And I just love it. Okay, I bought this stamp on Amazon years ago. I've thrown away the box because it was just too bulky. And it has letters, can you see? Uh, well, it has numbers and it has letters. And see, there's some numbers there. I guess you're supposed to use it to put like, I don't know, July 23rd, but I use it mostly for the letters. Let's see. So we're gonna do Maria. I use it mostly for the letters because I do have letter stamps, but I find that I can't get when I use them to put someone's name on things, I make cards for my family. I find that I can't get the um, 
letters straight. So this works out great because it's all in line on the stamp. And let's do, so we've got M-A-R. And let's get I, oops, wrong one, I, oh, I'm sorry, this is taking so long. I should have thought of a name that was shorter. And A, oh, A. I have to turn the wheels. <laughs> Problem is that I'm not catching the right wheel. Okay, there we go. All right. I think after we do this, we will call it a day. And maybe tomorrow I'll come back. So there we have it. Maria. Well, it's backwards, but yeah. We'll call it a day. And tomorrow we'll come back. And we will glue Maria to her card. And we'll put her in her laminating. And we'll have fun with that. Okay, well, it didn't come out perfect, but that's all right, because that's what we have pens for. So I am going to take my black, I don't even know who makes this. Oh, it's a Statler Tripless Fine Liner. And I am going to fix the M. So there we go. Maria has her card. And this is Maria's picture. And you know what? We're only at 32 minutes. So we will put Maria on here. Nope, you know what? Let's see. We're only at 32 minutes. If you give me five more minutes, we will find a couple of pieces of the field notes ephemera and we'll glue it down. There we go. Let's just change this up so we can ink these whoop, around the edges. And we'll glue them down. I got my glue out. There we go. And ink them around the edges really quick. So I hope you all had a nice weekend. Um, I had a busy weekend. It was so hot. We went swimming a lot. Um, we don't have a pool. We're getting a pool. Um, my cousins live next door, so... On Saturday, we went to visit one cousin, <laughs> and on Sunday, we went to visit the other cousin, and we all went swimming. My daughter went fishing with her cousin's father. Let's see. If we figure that we're going to put Maria here, we can put a little piece. We don't want to cover up Maria's name, so let's put that piece like that. And then we'll work around it. Um, yes, my cousin, my my cousin, my daughter went fishing with her cousin's father yesterday for the first time ever. She's twenty one, <laughs> and they went fishing at a pond nearby. Which my first words out of my mouth when she said she was going was, "Watch out for alligators," because yes, this is Florida. And there are alligators everywhere. Well, not every. Well, yeah, you know what? I can attest to the fact that there are alligators everywhere. Um, where we used to live, we were driving home one night. And um, I don't want to cover up files. Oh, I guess I'm covering up book 710. I'll go back and I'll stamp that on the back then. Um, yeah, we were coming home one night from dinner 
driving down a main road. And the car in front of us was stopped and we couldn't figure out why. There didn't seem to be another car nearby, so it didn't look like there had been an accident. So we were going to go around them um, to continue on our way because they didn't seem to be broken down, no flat tires, their lights were on, their car was running, so they weren't in distress. And <laughs> when we pulled around them, the reason they were stopped was there was an alligator in the middle of the road. Yeah, in the middle of a main road. So my biggest concern yesterday when my daughter went fishing was to please be wary of alligators. But she came home in one piece, which is always a good thing. I am going to grab that because I really liked that stamp. Now, where is it? The book 710. And I'm going to put that one on the back now because we covered it up with our ephemera. But I feel like the ephemera just adds something to it. We left out the filed because I think that's important on an ID card. But the book 710... That doesn't really matter. We can put that on the back. And I think we will do that in the faded jeans. Where can we put it? We will put it right here. Book 710. Shipment Collect. There we go. So yeah, there you have it. We've made our ID card. And like I said, I don't want to take up too much time. We will come back tomorrow. And we will laminate her because I have to go to Walmart. I got to get some more laminating pockets. And while I'm away from you, I am going to concentrate on, we need something in that corner there. I'm going to concentrate on figuring out a way to um, possibly make a um, passport. And we'll do that for Maria because she's the one we created together. And let's just put that right here. We're missing something up there. Stamped off the page. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to figure out if we can, uh, if I can make a passport folio for Maria. And maybe we'll do that together online, online, <laughs> on the video. And, but at least I will have a workup to show you what we did, what we're going to be doing. So yeah, there's our ID card. And I'm going to say goodbye for now. You all have a lovely day or evening or wherever you are. And I'll send out hugs and kisses. And I'll be sure to link those two shops, uh, not two shops, two um, YouTubers, Dash of Dave and Crafty by Tony. So this way you can take a look at what they did. All right. You have a great day, and I will see you soon. Hugs and goodbye.